Hey guys, it's Chad and Brad and Dr. Bueno, and we're back with another episode. Talk about CJC 1295 and Imperellum. And don't forget, we're here to introduce you to your non-toxic selves. These are two of our hottest peptides, and right now we're gonna tell you exactly how they function in the body. So Dr. Bueno, the CJC 1295 and Imperellum over the last year is one of my favorite peptides as far as results. But what I've noticed is that females seem to have a little bit of uh, faster conversion. It seems like they lose weight faster than even men do. Is there, is there a reason behind that? That's a really good point, Chad. Um, primarily, and I don't mean to be sexist, is because females, generally speaking, have a higher percentage of fat than men do. Uh -huh. And as you give them these two peptides, their growth hormone increases to a point that they utilize fat so much better that their body composition changes a lot faster than most men. Men are gonna have better results visually, right. but their body composition doesn't change as much as a female will. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Yeah, that's, that's, it's, it's great for them. It, it is, and the two different peptides, they act differently, like the CJC1295 and the Imperellum, like one's a secretagog and one's a, how, how, can you explain a little bit about that? So that's a good point. Um, CJC1295 is more like a secretagog. It forces your body to produce more growth hormone. Uh, Ipamorelin is more of like a ghrelin receptor where it also increases your growth hormone, but it does it by a different pathway. Both pathways come together to create more growth hormone in the body. Uh, we can go in depth on that, but the simplest way to look at it is this. Your pituitary gland is like a thermostat. Okay. It's constantly monitoring and making changes in your body temperature, body composition. But if you increase the growth hormone, it tells your body the temperature is different. I got to continue to utilize something for more energy. Mm. And hence, you have a lot more weight loss with these combination of peptides. Interesting. So if this uh, peptide mimics ghrelin in the brain, does it, it raise your appetite? Does that affect weight loss? You know, most, well, if you compare it to two different ones, it does increase appetite slightly, but nothing like most other peptides, like tessamorlin, okay. right? Uh, this one does not. So you have a benefit of converging food into energy instead of storing it without the appetite gain. Nice. Dr. Bueno, how, how long should someone be on, two questions actually, how long would someone be on CJC 1295 and Imperellum? And then is there a certain stages during the, the, the time that they're on it where they could expect different, different things? Oh, great question, Chad. Yes. So if we break it down in a six week period of time, right? Week one, what their peptides are doing is regulating your sleep, right? It doesn't do you any good to have better sleep if you don't increase growth hormone. Uh, so in the first week, you're going to notice that they're sleeping better, okay. deeper, healthier sleep. By week two, they're going to have a much quicker recovery from exercise. They're going to notice that they're not sore. They don't have lactic acid buildup. Yeah. Muscle tone is going to increase. Week three, mental clarity is going to increase. Okay. Their ability to cognitively think about something and recall information is going to be faster than normally is. By week four, they're going to notice that their skin is tighter. They have less wrinkles. They have more collagen in it. And then finally, what everybody wants to use it for, yeah. by week six, their body composition starts changing immensely. Mm. But that's how long it takes for your body to actually utilize fat in order to transform it into energy. That's amazing. So, so if, that, if that takes a couple of months, you, what would you generally say a, like a peptide regimen would be like three months? Yes, absolutely. If you only use it for one month, you're going to get certain benefits, but not the composition of your body, right? Yeah. And health is a long life uh, term commitment. So two to three months minimal in order for your body composition to change, I would say from 20 to 30 pound weight loss. Nice. And that's what most people want. Dr. Bueno, I wanna know why is the, the combination of these two peptides more effective than if you were to run them alone? Great question. So individually, each peptide has a message, right? And the message has to stay active in the body for a specific period of time. CJC 1295 has a half life of six to eight days. But that means that that message of telling your body to produce more growth hormone it stays active for at least six to eight days. Ipamorlin, half-life is two hours. So what happens is you have an immediate response to the pituitary gland. You need to produce more growth hormone. But then once Ipamorlin's message decreases, CJC kicks in. Mm. So now you have an incredible amount of constant information telling your body to produce more growth hormone. 
So the combination of both is much better than one, as you can see, because if you take CJC, it's going to be slow. And if you take Ipomorin, it's going to be quick, but it doesn't last. So, Dr. Bueno, as a recap, these peptides raise growth hormone levels in the body. It seems to be a fountain of youth. The, from what I see in the clinic, the patients are coming in with not only less body fat and more muscle mass. I can see that in the scans. Um, their skin looks better, their hair, nails, and eyes, they're sleeping better, their appetite's better, they have more energy. And what, what is, why, is, why is this? So more than just a superficial benefit is what you can see, right? That's what they come in. They want to feel better. They want to look better. Everything improves, but also physiologically, our body's immunity also increases. The cell rate of recovery increases. So what only is happening skin deep is also happening deeply into our system, improving every function of our bodies. And that's what we want is functionality. So it's functional medicine. That is correct. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today and today's episode. Next week, we'll be talking about a, a peptide called Cebralicin. I call it the brain peptide. This is supposed to be the neurotropic peptide of the century. It's supposed to help every single aspect of health in the neurons. It will reverse Alzheimer's. It will reverse dementia. It can reverse even brain damage. And not only that, but neurological conditions. Even a nerve that has been destroyed from an injury, it can reheal itself. Wow. Can it raise my IQ? No. <laughs> <laughs>